Welcome back to another episode of Perkins Pipes. We've got the corn cob out today, the Missouri Meerschaum, Missouri Pride. And I got this basically, I don't, know, I don't want to say as a curiosity. A lot of guys like the corn cob. I like this. Uh, it's a good little pipe. Uh, I remember having some corn cob pipe as a, as a boy growing up. Uh, I remember having a couple of plastic uh, bubble pipes so you could blow uh, you know, soap bubbles out of, and I, and I had a corn cob pipe um, back then, you know, to play with. And so once I got into uh, the piping hobby, I thought, you know, there's nothing more American than the corn cob pipe. Reminded me of my childhood, so thought I'd bring this one out. Seems appropriate for the topic of the day. So let's give this guy a light and get started. Somebody asked on one of the other videos what I was smoking. Uh, I almost exclusively smoke uh, a, a good, long-standing codger blend, uh, Sir Walter. I'm sorry, um, uh, Prince Albert. But for this pipe, I don't know. I kind of like the Sir Walter Raleigh. And uh, again, one of the classic old blends. Really, really like. Really love the the aroma of this uh, right out of the pouch. And um, seemed appropriate. Seemed appropriate for the topic of this video. As I said before, I, I love all the comments I'm getting uh, from followers, uh, people who enjoy the videos uh, here at uh, youtube.com slash at Perkins Pipes. And also over on Pipe Cottage Social. So... If you like the content, I certainly invite you to subscribe. Uh, appreciate everybody who's been subscribing. Numbers keep growing up, which is really cool. You know, it's not about a numbers game, but it is cool to see a number of people interacting with the channel. And over on Pipe Cottage Social, that app, uh, which I encourage you to check out if you're a pipe smoker. So many good groups, so many good people uh, on that app. And one of the groups that I started is called The Finer Things. And I posted on there, asked everybody, what are some of the finer things in life to you? Because that's one of the things that we do on this channel is enjoy a pipe and talk about some of the finer things in life. And one fellow, Suddy, uh, had a nice little list. I'll put, bring that list up here for you. And uh, there's several things on his list that we may talk about over time and, and things on other people's lists as well. Uh, but one of them that we want to talk about today is pocket knives. So, Suddy, thank you for putting that on your list. I want to talk a little bit about pocket knives. Um, I've got a few here that I want to show you and talk about and just talk about um, why, why to carry a knife in the first place? My dad always carried a pocket knife. He was an elementary school principal. And I always remember him carrying a pocket knife. Uh, this one is his. It's a little buck, uh, buck pocket knife. So if we can kind of uh, put that out there so that you can really uh, see it a little bit. It is two blades. We got one blade there and the shorter blade on the other end. And he always carried that. Oh my goodness, I can remember him opening up packages and little strings that need to be cut from time to time. And he would always reach and say, well, let me get my knife. Let me get my knife. And he would pull out uh, his buck knife. Uh, and I've got a lot of knives, or I won't say I've got a huge collection. I'm sure some of you have got really fabulous collections of pocket knives. Some of mine have made their way into my son's collection. 
I've mentioned to my son before, and my son is a, um, a student at Purdue University, uh, majoring in industrial design. Uh, my daughter is also at Purdue, uh, majoring in chemistry. And they both have their knives. Um, I certainly taught my daughter how to use a knife and power tools, same as my son. She got a really nice knife that her mother and I gave her uh, when she was in 4-H. A beautiful a little case, a peanut, a beautiful emerald green scales on it, uh, the high polished blades. But our son uh, has a little bit larger collection of knives, uh, a lot of boys tend to do, and uh, he, I, he's got several of my knives. He's received knives as gifts from relatives, his papa in particular, uh, I think maybe gave him his first uh, one or two knives, uh, my wife's dad, and uh, he's purchased some of his own. So I'm not going to go through all my knives, not, not by, any, by, by any stretch, but we'll talk about a few here. Now, this is technically not a pocket knife, right? This is a buck hunting knife. And since my dad carried the little buck pocket knife, I thought I'd go ahead and bring this guy out. Comes in a nice, nice uh, leather sheath. It's got the um, strap on the back to put your, your belt through. And I just love this guy. Nice lock back. Uh, blade, you know, the wooden scales, some nice brass appointments there. Now, here's the thing. I don't hunt. But every time we go hiking, or for a stay at one of the state parks here in Indiana, I always bring this guy out. Put it on my belt, carry it around with me. I just like to have it. For one thing, it's got a great feel to it. I can kind of see the size of it against my hand. It's a larger knife. Boy, it feels good. And no, I haven't used it in any hunting uh, capacity or cleaning capacity. Um, quite honestly, I've used it a lot of times just to slice uh, uh, sausage and cheese and crackers when I'm uh, out camping and, and, and snacks, sliced pieces of fruit with it. Uh, but boy, I just, I just like the feel of that guy. Now, there's one other one. Kind of interesting when it comes to a pocket knife. This little pearl handle guy here. And you may notice it's got a button on it. Well, this is a switchblade, friends, and I got it from my uncle, my my mother, one of my mother's brothers, many years ago. It was his, oh, God, probably back in the uh, the 50s. Would have been when he would have had it in high school. And it doesn't really work well anymore. I push the button and kind of springs out only so far, and you have to manipulate it the rest of the way. But... And obviously, I don't carry this. Uh, this is not an everyday carry. Um, but just kind of a neat, one other neat one there. So let me talk to you a little bit. Oh, goodness, we're getting some tobacco, getting some tobacco on us. Um, let's talk a little bit about knives to carry, everyday carry, EDC, everyday carries. And We'll talk about why a guy should carry a knife. I I love carrying a knife for a couple of different reasons. And I'm gonna bring this little guy out. Years ago, my my mom gave me this for Christmas one year. Just one of those little little fun gifts for Christmas. This is a if we move get my fingers off the uh, the logo there, this is a Barking Dog. Barking Dog is the brand here. It's just a single blade, little knife, and man, I like this little guy. Uh, simple little single blade knife. It's so slender 
fits nicely in my pocket with my keys. I used to carry this for years and I am a fidgeter. I like to fidget with stuff. In fact, I think that's one of the things that a lot of guys like uh, to fidget while they're smoking. I like to fidget with their, uh, with their lighter, and especially those who like the, the Zippo. We like the classic, um, you know, classic sound and closing of the, the Zippo lighter there. Uh, this was a great little guy just to fool around with, flip it around. Sometimes standing around, just kind of pull it out, flip it around. Uh, so it was just comfortable in the pocket, served a great purpose. Now, the one that I carry uh, the most and have now for several years is this Case Peanut. Case Peanut. And it has the uh, brown um, synthetic scales, two blade. Open that up there and got one more. So you can see that. I carry this every day. Carry it every day, wherever I go. And there's two reasons why I carry this brown case peanut wherever I go. Uh, there are several reasons, really. One, again, it's just a great size. Fits in the pocket nicely. Um, it's something to fidget with. It's something to fool around with. In fact, I can tell you many of the time when I'm at church and I'm singing uh, worship worship songs uh, before the start of a worship service, I have my hand in my pocket and I'm just kind of fiddling around with, with my pocket knife. It just gives my hand something to do. Now, it's a good knife, a couple different blades, Anything you want from opening an envelope, cutting a string. I think we've all used knife blades as uh, makeshift screwdrivers in the, in the heat of the moment when you needed something. Uh, I've opened, opened so many toys for our children, Christmas and birthday. There's always a need to open uh, something. Great to slice open a pouch if you've got a pouch of tobacco. I uh, need to slice open your pouch uh, or you order a pipe maybe from somewhere and it comes in a box and you need to get that tape cut uh, to get that pipe out and get, get started smoking. So uh, there's just so many reasons to carry a knife and I love this one because my son got it for me. I know Malcolm Geit speaks of a, a fountain pen that he likes. Uh, you can look up his video. And uh, he reads an essay by uh, Hilaire Belloc, and he talks about a fountain pen, a Parker sonnet, a fountain pen that his daughter gave him, that Malcolm Geit's uh, daughter gave him. And he loves using it because his daughter gave it to him. Well, I love using this little brown case peanut because my son gave it to me. And every time I'm fooling around with it, I think of my son. Not too long ago, my mother was in uh, hospice. She was in the final stages of her life. I would go visit her every day. And as I would sit there and talk with her by her bedside, again, I'd pull out this little case peanut and just fool with it. And I remember one day I sat there and kind of down beside the bed. She didn't see that I was doing it. I got out my camera and I took a picture. I took a picture of the knife and I sent it to my son and I said, I'm playing with the knife as I sit here and talk with grandma, you know, thinking of you. And if, if you have a knife, share that with us in the comments, especially if you have a, uh, a special knife from a special someone. maybe a relative or friend or something to mark a particular occasion. Um, share that story with us. We'd love to hear that. Um, and of course, share all of your knives. Hey, 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 you want to share some pictures, share some videos, uh, tell us what knives you like to carry, uh, why you like them. But this is my really my everyday carry. And I'm going to share one more. And it is a very special knife. 
It is my newest knife. I just got this for Christmas in 2023. And once again, thanks to my son, with a little bit of help from my wife. So, Brentley had been talking about what to get Dad for Christmas, and my son wanted to get me another knife. So, apparently my wife's suggestion, my wife's suggestion was to get one in the colors of the place where I work. And so we've got uh, this beautiful purple, it's another case knife. It has the highly polished uh, blades, as you can see. And this one is so nice that I don't carry it in my pocket. I just don't want to get scratched up with my keys, uh, other, other things in my pocket there. It's just too beautiful. So this one for me is something of a dress knife. Sometimes I'll put it inside the pocket of my jacket, my inner uh, jacket pocket. And uh, it's another one that I fiddle with. So sometimes I'm just watching TV and I like to get this one out and boy, it feels good in the hand. Just, and you can get, you can kind of see uh, how big it is against my hand. And uh, it just feels good, super smooth, highly polished. Uh, the purple and white marble scales on there. Love this one so much. Again, thanks to my son and thanks to my wife. So, let's hear from you. What are some of the knives that you carry on a regular basis? Maybe you have a rotation of knives. A lot of guys who, who uh, carry a, a pistol for defense, they rotate through their everyday carry on their guns. Uh, we all rotate our pipes. What are some of the knives that you have uh, in your rotation um, or special knives that have been given to you by special people? So I'm going to finish enjoy enjoying the Sir Walter Raleigh in the corn cob. As my Malcolm Guy says, I do these little things in order at last to do nothing. Or as I like to say in Latin, parwa ago, ut tandem nihil ago. Have a wonderful day.